Rob Little Al Martin. I'm from Salt Lake City. I'm descended from the Southern Ute, the Hickory Apaches, and the Navajo Nations. I started the flutes probably about 15, 16 years ago. Dad's a cabinet maker and I'm a machinist. I figured that with the tools that we had in the garage, I could make my own flutes. This is cherry. This comes from a cherry tree that grew in front of my grandmother's house. My brother, my sisters, our cousins, we used to go and raid grandma's cherry tree and we would eat all the cherries. They actually played this flute at grandma's funeral when she died. The wooden flute has a feeling to it. I like the Native American flute because it's a fairly simple flute to use. When you blow into this flute, you blow into the blowing chamber and the air comes up and is directed over the sound edge here, and this is the sound chamber. And so you just blow into it and it works. I'd been going to the festival to go and see it before I was a participant in it. And it's been eight years. I really enjoy going and performing and, and telling people this, my stories and talking to people after I perform. When I play for audiences, what I like to share with them is I like to share the stories of the flutes and how the flute came to be. There was a, a young man and he had his heart set on marrying this young woman. She had broken his heart and he ran off into the woods to, to cry. And while he was there, he heard the sound of the flute come in over a breeze. And it sounded something like this. He looked up, there was a woodpecker, and the woodpecker spoke to the young man and told him he had to peck some holes in this hollow branch, and when the wind blows through this hollow branch, it makes these noises. And if the young man came up and broke off the branch, he would teach him how to make these noises. And then he could go back and play this flute to this young woman and win her heart. So he went back to the village and he played for this girl and he ended up winning her heart. And so from that time on, any young man that wanted to win the heart of a woman would learn to make his own flutes and play a special song for her. My name is Rob Little Al Martin and my living tradition is making flutes, playing flutes and telling stories to help people to understand my culture.